this is something a lot of people wonder about. What are the differences in terms of impact between cold showers, cold plunge to the neck, so that could be in ice water or just very cold water, immersion with dunking one's head and then coming up, because obviously people have to come up for air at some point, <laughs> and then simply being outside on a cold day in shorts and a t-shirt. So the more you can say you cover your body in the cold, which you would do in cold water, cover totally and, and, and the molecules are uh, closer to your skin, you will have a more potent um, activation of all your cold uh, receptors in the skin. That one will definitely activate your autonomous nervous system more and rapid uh, compared to going out in a t-shirt, in the cold wind, just go for a walk, that is also something that's going to activate your the brown fat. So this is a healthy kind of uh, fat tissue that we have in our body. And when you activate that, that's going to um, increase your metabolism. <laughs>